but it's not me, it's you What you're turning into is some kind of something that I never knew It used to be okay and I like you that way But I don't think that I like you better No, I don't think that I like you better Hey everybody, John Festmeyer here, 3D Modeling MFA Candidate at Academy of Art University, working on my thesis, Bodacious Creed. Uh, I'm see if I can get all my, my thoughts for this uh, in order, so I don't make the video too long, but it might end up long anyway. Uh, and plus I'm getting, just getting a flu, so that's uh, kind of making me a little bit scatterbrained. But I've got some good info here I wanted to share, so. Um, if you want to read more about the thesis, please check out the links below to the, uh, well, the link below to the blog. And you can always check out other episodes of this vlog to know what the heck I'm talking about. Uh, so as I'm getting toward the end, my final review date is December 8th. They moved it up from December 7th. So, hey, any extra time is nice. An extra day is nice. Um, what I've been doing here, uh, the problems I had that I have that I fixed in the last couple days were Creed had these uh, texture seams that were very visible on the model. So I had to get those smoothed out. So I did a little trick in Photoshop, basically duplicating and layers and blurring out uh, layers beneath to keep the, the detail on the texture map, but kind of to give it, to make it a little bigger around the edges, and that filled in the seams really nicely. Uh, I could give details, but that would take a while. Um, the other thing was that his... Um, yeah, there was a big, very obvious seam here in the back of the head that's completely smoothed over. And, I mean, he's, you know, he has hair, so most of it would have been covered over anyway, but it's still nice to have it done. And it wouldn't have been covered over here in the neck where it was very, very obvious. So, yeah, it's nice to have that done. And I think in the front it was kind of obvious, in the front of the neck too, even underneath the shoulder guard. So the other thing um, that this kind of took, the, the, the seams I figured out really fast. This part took a while. These um, wounds are now properly going in as they should, as if the skin has been torn off or surgically cut off in places. Um, you really see it on the next one here too. These were popping out as were his, and his nipples were actually going in. So it was um, this reverse that looked uh, just totally wrong. It took me a while to, uh, this might sound silly because some people might seem really obvious, but you know, you gotta learn. So it took a while to pinpoint that it was the normal map and not the displacement map. Uh, once I figured that out, it took a little while to figure out what to do to fix it because I tried changing some settings in Maya. It turned out I just basically had to bring it into Photoshop and take the red and green channels in the channel area and invert them. Um, took a while to figure out how to do that too once I learned that's what needed to be done. But now I know how to do it. I got it done and it worked beautifully. So all of this is looking as it should. Um, with all that figured out, this morning I got the seams on, on Anna fixed. You could really see the seam in the back of her head and around her ears. So uh, those are looking a lot better too. Um, I'm going to pause this for a sec because I've got more to say, but i got to collect my thoughts. <laughs> okay, so one of the main things I'm working on now is going through and polishing things up, like this, this texture stuff that I, that I just... Uh, talked about. Uh, the textures on her clothes too since this image. I've looked at some uh, the kind of cloth that this is made out, that this is supposed to be made out of and made it look more like that. Kind of less, a lot less um, obvious kind of shine. It's more subtle. Uh, same for the shirt. But I'm going to be going through all the textures on the characters and making sure those are okay. The other detail thing of course is uh, any models that are slightly out of place like say if her goggles were, you know, sitting wrong, I would fix that, uh, and so on. And I'm doing a couple other still sort of um, bigger things for scene three. There are three scenes in this. Um, I still need to do the wrinkling on Anna's clothing for scene three. She's in a completely different outfit, and in any case, it's a different pose, so I need to do the wrinkles on her clothing, although I have her pose done, and I think it looks very good. Um, I've also posed Creed for scene three, and um, right after this talking part, I'm going to uh, throw in a turntable of him in that scene, so you can see what I'm, um, how his pose is basically going to look, though I'm, I've got polishing to do on it, including wrinkling his clothes, 
posing his face and putting uh, his guns in his hands and posing his fingers. The mask you'll see in that turntable is a little over to the side. That's because when I put it into the final, I get it ready for the final scene, I'm going to have the mask laying down on a counter, so like a, a bar counter. It's going to be in that scene. Um, and then, yeah, what was I saying? Doing the wrinkling on him. Yeah. So once I get all, all this polishing done, I think it'll look really good. Um, and then if I have time, I'll add, I'll probably add a few more props, possibly redo something with the bases, maybe make three different um, but thematically identical bases uh, for them to be standing on. Um, so those are the kind of details I would like to do, but I'm not sure if I have time to get them done. I think I do, but, um, you know, just in case, the, what I have already looks good. I just may want to make it look better. So that's it. Without further ado, I'm going to show that uh, turntable, and I'm going to put in the mock-up of my demo reel I just did for class. Um, hey, if anybody wants to comment, you can let me think about know what you think about that. It's going to need a little bit more. Um, I just need polishing, of course. It's basically it's 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 like an animatic um, more than anything at this point. It's got a couple of uh, practice tr or demo turntables I've put in there, and it's got a lot of. Um, images of wireframes and just renders that um, represent more or less